Someone asked me a very important question yesterday, um, and I felt like I should talk about it. They said, <clears throat> you know, because I get a lot of texts, a lot of, uh, what should I do about this, what should I do about that? This question that they asked me was, what is the first steps I can take to loving myself? Because I talk about that a lot. So my answer was, first thing, first step to loving yourself fully to start the process of loving yourself would be to 100% forgive yourself first. Now, when I say that, people are like, well, I got nothing to forgive myself for. I didn't do nothing wrong. Let's re-examine that. A lot of us didn't do anything wrong. A lot of us, you know, feel like we didn't do anything wrong, and, and that's okay. But at the end of the day, in order to begin to love yourself, first you must forgive yourself, and you know, what I mean by that there's certain things that you might have done that you felt like oh I should have done this this way I should have done that that way we all think we should have done something a different way there's always that one point in our lives where we feel that way so you have to forgive yourself first that's number one so starting to love yourself whatever <clears throat> steps you've taken to get to this point whether you think that it's backtracked you held you back this is the point in time where you say you know what Everything is as it should be, you know? If you look at the art of Taoism, if you look at Buddhism, if you look at uh, Muslims' uh, religion, every religion always tells you forgiveness, forgiveness, right? Forgiveness. So forgiving yourself is very, very vital to starting to step, to take the steps to healing. Now, when I began to forgive myself for everything that I've done, well, and these are for things that, you know, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have rushed into this relationship. I shouldn't have, uh, you know, done that to my friend. I shouldn't have <clears throat> done that in high school. Whatever. Forgive yourself for all the things. Step two, forgive everyone else. You might think this sounds stupid. It's not. Forgiving yourself and others is the first step. People always say, revenge. I want justice. I want revenge. Let me explain something to you. The best form of revenge is to just be happy and forgive. I promise you, if you let go of those things, you will transform immediately. But you have to not say, I forgive them. Okay, I forgive myself. This is real forgiveness. I'm talking going within. I'm talking crying. I'm talking meditating. I'm talking praying. Real, true forgiveness for yourself and others is so vital to you to take these steps towards <clears throat> moving in a direction that you want to move. You cannot move forward in life without forgiving yourself and others, no matter what the circumstances. You have to practice forgiveness. That's the first step. The second step would be to have every day be grateful for something you do, for something you have in your life. Every day be grateful in the morning, be grateful before you go to bed. Second step, 100% remaining grateful even though things may seem terrible. Remaining grateful, 333 three, three on the clock big big huge sign gratefulness is the highest vibration it's the highest form of vibration that you can feel there is no higher vibration than being grateful being thankful for what you already have no matter even if it's this small we've all been there where we've been broke fucked up this things went wrong relationships marriages children baby daddies baby mama we all been there but you have to remain grateful for the things that you have, for the fact that you're still here. See, what people don't understand, I can, I can tell you from personal experience that today when I sit here and I think about my life and I say, wow, life is beautiful, life is great. Why do you think that is? Because uh, my life is perfect and nobody's life is perfect. That's an illusion, a complete illusion. If you're depressed right now, if you're in a, the act of addiction, if you're in any situation, you have anxiety, you think you can't get out of it, I promise you, you can. 
I swear to you, right now, if you feel like I just can't get out of this, I just can't do it, it's just impossible, that's the problem, because you keep telling yourself you can't, you can't, you won't, you shouldn't, you, it's, I know that feeling, I've been there, where you're in bed, you just don't want to get out, you just don't want to do stuff, you just don't want to, you don't think it's going to change, but I promise you, if you take that first step to change your thoughts, that first step, it starts, listen, all transformation starts up here. And then it trickles down to the heart, the body, the mind, the soul, the spirit. But it has to start in your mind. Your mind will transform your life. I promise you, today, where I sit here and I can say to you, I have healed fully. I have completed my karma and I moved on to my dharma. It's not because it was easy. It took me 10 years, baby. 10 years but it don't have to take you 10 years to get out of that cycle it don't have to take you 10 years to to feel like a, a like life is just per exactly the way it should be you have to remain hopeful you have to have faith your angels your spirit guides your loved ones your star seed family because believe me they're helping us every day when you think of angels you think of all these forms of beings they don't just come from spirit world there's other planets and they are trying to help us and they are here with us all you have to do is ask for the help they cannot step that's where free will comes in they cannot step forward to help you until you say <clears throat> I need help I want help I want to change and I want to start now <clears throat> that term god helps those who help themselves comes from a real place because once you begin to help yourself and say <clears throat> i want this help i'm ready for a change once you take that first step is when it trickles down it's like a domino effect you put that first domino the second third fourth you know it takes a while to set up those dominoes a while and once you do it just takes one little push and they all fall down and it's just like that with your depression just like that with your anxiety your anger your bitterness your 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 you cannot live in that you have to be able to know that once you start to build those steps you can just push the problems away easily if you don't see things as problems and you see them as solutions to problems when we look at something as a problem, instead of looking at what are the solutions to this problem, we now have created the problem and made it bigger in our heads. It's like when you're going to clean the house, right? And this is a great example. When I go to clean, if I look at the big mess and I look around, I'm like, oh my God, there's all this mess I gotta clean. If I don't do it that way and I look at it as in, do this part first, oh, that's done, okay, next part. It's step by step you get it done it's not gonna all get done at once you gotta first do the kitchen then the bathroom then the living room then the bedroom it's a step-by-step -step process internal your heart your first of all it starts with your mind then your heart and then your spirit and then your soul then the outer part the body the looks the way you feel it's a step-by-step -step process so you might be spiritually in tune. You might have all these things great, but you might not be able to lose that weight or step by step, day by day. We'll make it better the second time around. But seriously, understand that if you don't value yourself first, nothing will ever fill that void. Nothing. Not a drink, not a blunt, not a guy, not a girl, not a boyfriend, not a girlfriend, not a child, not a, not, a, not a net or not a, nothing. You have to fill that gap that's missing within you. You have listen. It takes a lot of work. You're gonna have to search within. Ask your spirit guides, your angels to show you what you need to work on. Dream it out. You know when you have dreams and they're all the same. When you have repetitive dreams, you're still in a cycle. When you start, your dreams start to change. You're out of that cycle. Understanding that it all starts here with loving yourself. And then it starts here. And then in the spirit. Then in the soul. 
than in the outer body. Because once you love yourself internally, all the rest of it, just like, it's easy. Like, everything you stress about, that bill that you can't pay, like, it's it's a bill, it'll get paid. You know, if you're stressing about, uh, oh my God, uh, he's not texting me back, uh, you know, then you shouldn't be talking to someone who doesn't answer your text right away or doesn't have the decency to respond to your phone calls or um, keep going back to that person who keeps trying to run back in your life after you're doing well now all of a sudden because he's an en she he or she is an energy vampire so without you now their their power is going away so they need you back to get that energy back and then once they get that energy back what do they do they leave again so stop allowing these things to happen to you because you're when you allow it to happen to you it's happening to you when it's happening for you it's a different story when it's happening from spirit from the universe when you allow people to keep coming in and drain you it's happening to you because you're allowing it to. When it's happening for you, everything that's happening is happening for you, for you to learn lessons. But when you create them, that's happening to you because you're making it happen to you. So you have to start by the mind. No matter what situation you're in, no matter how bad it seems right now, I promise you, I promise, I swear to you, it gets better. You have to start though, you know? That first day is the most important day. If you can say, don't pressure yourself. And first of all, don't stop telling the devil. If you want to succeed in life and you want to get through things, stop, tell, stop letting the devil know your next move. You say, I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to stop doing this tomorrow. The devil's right 10 steps ahead of you. Just do it. Don't tell the don't tell the devil what you're doing. You know, the devil, negative energies, whatever you want to call them. I don't see good or bad. It is what it is. Don't tell what you're going to do. Just do it. Like, I can't wake up tomorrow and say, I'm going to stop eating fattening food because then the first thing I want to do in the morning is eat something fattening. So what I do is I get up and whatever happens that day happens. Don't pressure yourself. But take the steps. 12, 12 on the clock. I just looked up. Take the, take the steps. Take the steps to make your dreams a reality. Make your dreams come true. As far as your dream could be simple as I just want to feel good about myself. I just want to feel happy. I want to find my purpose. The only way to do these things is to start with yourself up here create everything here in the mind the body does what the mind tells it to if your your mind tells your body i'm tired today you're gonna be tired all day if your mind tells your body i'm gonna get up right now i i got this i promise you your body will follow suit your mind controls everything and you are in control ultimately you are protected you are guided you are loved you are wanted. You are beautiful. Okay? All right. I love you guys. Namaste.